Hello, today is Wednesday the 4th of August 2021. It is day three of my attempt to quit smoking. Uh, thanks for taking the time to listen. Um, today has been a difficult day, no dressing it up. My cravings have been quite bad. My stop smoking products, my uh, spray and patch have helped. It's just been one of those days and um, Cut a long story short, I'm aching, I'm not irritable, I'm just tired, I'm just really tired and I think that exhaustion's coming, it's a mental exhaustion from just trying to deal with those cravings at the moment. Um, it's not like pre-quit where I used to get tired primarily because of smoking, It was that was an exhaustive tired, that was absolutely holistically everywhere tired and dropping tired. So, um, yeah, I'm a little bit achy at the minute as well. I don't know if that's the cause of smoking or I'm actually coming down with a bit of a cold, maybe. I don't know. Um, I am battling on. Um, it is now basically that. It is a battle of willpower um, against me and against the smoking me. And I will win. I will win. I've said before I could I could have a cigarette right now but what's it going to achieve you know um so health wise oh and also as well my voice is quite <clears throat> dry I'm drinking a lot at the minute uh, again that's something else that I've read it's quite common to people who do quit smoking <coughs> in the <clears throat> previous videos <clears throat> I have to excuse me because it, it really is that dry at the back and I'm trying to sort of just get my mouth working again it's weird that aside um yesterday in the video i spoke about the money side of things um and how much it actually cost me over 43 years as a smoker on average my thoughts lately have just gone back to um the health concerns that i've got and i don't know if anyone has noticed this on my eye there and I've got a small one on that side. That's called xanthoplasma or xanthiplasma. Um, and basically, I've seen people with like huge buildups of this around the eyes. Yeah. Um, that's cholesterol. That's a buildup of cholesterol. Or, at its worst, it can be indicative of heart disease. Um, when I went to the doctors, the doctor. I, I said, you know, I've got these weird things on my eyes. Can you help? And he said, it's cholesterol. And I said, cholesterol? I said, I'm not a, I don't eat a weird foods. I'm not a, you know, I don't eat a lot of grilled or fried foods. So, you know, my diet's actually quite mediocre. He said, there's nothing to do, nothing to do whatsoever with your diet. He said, there's smoking. Um, they can remove it, it can be removed. I'd have to pay to have that removed. The NHS can do it, but they won't, and simply because it is too near my eye. Yeah, they won't risk it. Um, but what I have read, and touch wood, hopefully it can leach away with stopping smoking. It can actually recede, which will be, you know, great. I'm not vain about it. It's very, very noticeable. Um, so, yeah, it is about health, and... You know, when you think, and I've done a little bit of research on this, and it's staggering the amount of things that actually go inside. Just excuse me a minute, six threes. Just need to bring that up. It's staggering the amount of toxins, poisons, chemicals that are in cigarettes. There's thousands of them, okay? And I was actually quite staggered to, to um, find out, really, what, stuff is in there right so one of the one of the primary ones is hydrogen cyanide right hydrogen cyanide in cigarettes right <laughs> it is a military grade weapon right for mass destruction okay they used it in the first world war and they used it in the second world war the first world war we're all familiar with mustard gas cyanide gas kills instantly mustard gas would kill you over a period of time cyanide gas devastating right kills people within seconds okay 
and it's in cigarettes. Yeah. And not only do they use it for as a military grade weapon, but it's also used for fumigation. So anyone with a house that's got fleas or, you know, vermin, they use hydrogen cyanide as, as part of a product to get rid of these vermin. You're breathing this in. <laughs> hey, formaldehyde. They put formaldehyde, right, in cigarettes. Oh, it's in cigarettes. I don't know if anyone's putting it in. I hope not. I can't bloody... Like lunatic doing that, I want to put some formaldehyde in there, I mean, that might be nice. So formaldehyde, right? And if you don't know what formaldehyde is, it's used in hospitals and medical uh, institutions for preserving specimens and tissues, right? So you, you know like on uh, old fashioned films where, you know, you have some mad scientist laboratory and they'd have like a jar with a baby in it or arms or someone's leg or spine you know the formaldehyde that's what the fluid is inside it that's what's preserving it stopping this rotting away it's not a help with me though was it really i'm falling to bits but formaldehyde right and not only that right formaldehyde they use it in construction they, they make bricks with it right so when they're not busy like ripping someone's spine out and preserving that they go, oh, it's good. you know make some bricks insane <coughs> vinyl chloride is another one they use that to make the filters and vinyl chloride is used for making plastics right vinyl uh, um, and you're breathing it in because it breaks down it just absolutely starts to break down and you breathe it in as you're burning it vinyl chloride um, one of the strange ones as well right it was ammonia now I'm not suggesting for one minute that ammonia is knowingly put into tobacco product products, right? I'm not for one minute suggesting that, but it just seems a little bit strange that ammonia accelerates the, the addictive effect of nicotine on people. It boosts it, right? Hmm, very strange. Yeah, ammonia. This is the stuff that you... Your pee's made out of ammonia. <laughs> Honestly, God. When I look at it, I think, really? Yeah. And one of the best ones, polonium-210. <laughs> polonium-210 is radioactive, right? Yeah. It... <laughs> Back in back a few good few years ago, you can look this up, right? There was a Russian guy, right? He got in trouble. I'm not going to say his name because I don't want to cast any aspersions or point any fingers at anyone. But this Russian chap allegedly got in a lot of trouble with the Russian government, right? Over doing naughty things, right? I don't know who was doing the naughty things, but the Russian government apparently, right? Thought I know, we'll see him off. So they poisoned him with polonium-210, right? I mean, obviously, this guy, this poor soul, was having it in huge doses, right? And it's documented. You can see it on social media, uh, uh, on the newspapers, wherever. You can look it up, Google it. Um, yeah, so, and he had a, a huge... I mean, he was having it in massive doses. It had a massive effect on him. Obviously, you know, he'd lost his air, weight, blah, blah, blah. He killed him. And we're smoking that polonium it's rotting away your organs. Just absolutely rotting away. Why are we doing this? You know, no. You, in, if someone walked up to you, right, with a vial, with a skull and crossbones on it, and polonium-210, do not use, or, you know, warning. I went, yeah, mate, drink that. You wouldn't, no one, <laughs> you wouldn't do it. I'd smoke it, but I'm not going to drink it. Really? You know, my circulation is pants. Really, I am. I have aged myself happily. Just done it, you know. Be warned, because on the packets of cigarettes, there are these now pictures, and they are very real. They are very real. They're not a joke. Seriously, the effects, and it is... The, the rubbish thing about smoking is the damage that it does to you is invisible. You don't see it. You just start to experience it. It's 
Same as a lot of other drugs, you know. But why? And please, honest to God, if you are of an age, young age, and you've just started smoking, please stop. Just do yourself a favour. It is not worth it. You know, you're paying money. You know, I, I said it yesterday about the £69,000 on average that I've spent in 43 years to make myself look like this. <laughs> 69 grand on ageing myself. People go to plastic surgeons and pay similar amounts of money to make them look younger. Oh, no, not me. I'll pay 69 grand just to age myself. <laughs> really? <laughs> and the formaldehyde's not working. Really, it's just bizarre. Anyway, on this good note, on this smiley note anyway, it's, it's actually boosted me up. It's boosted my day up now because now I know that I can get through the rest of the day. Cravings aside, I'm battle on because I'm doing it for the right reasons. I'll follow up with some more videos as the days goes on. I might not do videos every day because there's going to be days where there's just nothing to report you know and obviously if i'm doing some research because I'm, I'm actually getting quite interested in this but if i do some research and i find anything interesting that will help maybe just boost you along that road to stopping this dreadful dreadful habit i hope so i really do hope it works um in the meantime i have um kept the comments closed but if you do want to leave a comment do it i'll review them right because as i said in the past video the last thing i need i'm on this big gym i'm trying to make myself feel better and stuff like that i don't want haters i really don't need you you know um, and there are some horrible people out there if your comments are pertinent and they are helpful or you want just a little bit of a chat about uh, via the comments you know about the, the best way for you just to keep going you know hopefully we can boost each other along because if one person can change their minds their whole mindset about stopping because of what i'm trying to achieve and the way i'm logging it brilliant absolutely fantastic you know uh, finger um in the meantime please stay safe stay happy and if you are on this journey already keep going because you can do it i know it's it's difficult and I'm with you. Thank you very much for taking the time. Bye.